Hi, and welcome to the 1010 Diver Show, episode 62. Tonight, mm -hmm. we've got 10 guests. One of them is very special. Uh, so we're going to um, talk something different at the end. We're going to bring another promotion company into the outfit, and, and, and we'll talk about that. But our first guest, music-wise, is Steve Andrews, one of my right-hand men on the show, Mr. Greenbeard. Could you introduce yourself, Steve, and the story behind your song, Climb Through a Rainbow? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Sparky. Yeah. Well, my name is Steve Andrews. I'm in Portugal, but I'm originally from Cardiff in Wales. And I'm a singer songwriter, I'm an author. This song you're about to hear, Climb Through a Rainbow, uh, was created originally in Wales. I was in Cardiff. I was at my, my friend Misty Arduin's, she has like a nursery, uh, which is called Nestling's Nursery. And she asked me to come along and play some songs for the little ones, so I did. And I actually ran out of children's songs, but I was watching the kids that were there, and one of them had striped rainbow pants on. And he was climbing through a rainbow archway and there was a rainbow abacus and rainbow building blocks and stuff. And this song just came to me. So I started strumming it and I had a kazoo and I was blowing my kazoo and somebody was banging a xylophone and it was just a completely fun, like, you know, incident that was happening. And I thought, OK, well, I must record this song properly. So the version you're about to hear now is properly with Jace Lewis as my producer at North Stone Studios. And uh, the video, there was like a, a nice music video made for it as well. So basically, enjoy Climb Through a Rainbow. This is a song that every child has to see. And even the big, big grown up kids like us, it's absolutely brilliant, Steve. Climb Through a Rainbow by the Bard of Eli, Steve Andrews. One up. Rainbow, I'm through a rain. 
you know, it's, it really is something that can, it can it's something that can go with Hickory Dickory Dock and all the already famous, you know, children's songs out there. Um, it is very, very special. Kim, I'm going to ask you to say a little something after each song because, you know, you're another music promoter here. Could you say something? Then, Wolf, you're up next. So you say something as well while I load up your track. So, Kim and then Wolf, please. Okay. Um, very jangly. Okay. Very easy to listen to. Um, kind of reminded me of Burl Ives. I mean, the great folk artist uh, from the U.S. who did a lot of um, younger people's children's songs that, I mean, I remember from my childhood, and this song is right along those lines. I mean, it really is. This is a song that kids can grow up listening to and remember it, because it, it's, it's not complicated lyrics. It's, it's all clean, ready to go. Um, and I, I look at it that way, that that's, man, you, you, got, uh, you, got a, you got an edge in the, in the children's industry, uh, children's music. Um, it's sometimes a forgotten industry at this time, but uh, I know when I was young, which was quite a while ago in a galaxy far, far away, I mean, uh, <laughs> that stuff was very important to me. My parents played it for me, so kudos, brother. Um, hey. Thank you so much, Kim. And yeah, I remember Boo Lives. And so that's a really great compliment. Thank you. Hey, just before you say something, Wolf, do you know, um, it's it's a massive genre. Think about it. Everybody's got children all over the world and it is the same regurgitated songs that everybody gets through the generations. So that is going to make it. That's going to be mega famous. Well said, Kim. And just so that you all know, see you Kim's name, Keltash Music. That's how you add him in Facebook as a friend. So while you're sitting there, if you're wondering how to get Kim, Adam is Kelt Tash music. Any point of the show, because yeah. Anyway, Wolf, Wolfie, you're up next. So, what's your thoughts here, brother? Yeah. It, um, first of all, I love Steve's. Um, he always has a great tone on his guitar, the acoustic. Um, I like the dynamics of the song, the 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 way you know, the, in the middle of the song, the the, the dropout. Um, and the only thing I could think of is uh, "Yellow Submarine" by the Beatles. So, need I say more? Hey. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, Yellow Submarine, of course, that, that's a big influence on me all of that period. So, yeah, lo love it what you said. Thank you. Welcome. Well said, Will. Well said. And Steve, how does everyone find you quickly? And then we're on to Will's section. So, ha ha it's steveandrews.info, ladies and gentlemen. That's his website. And you'll, you'll find everything on there about Steve Andrews. Man's a legend. He'll not tell you that himself, but he is. Steve Andrews. My brother, until the next time. Thank you. Thank you, Sparky. Thank you, everyone. Pleasure, pleasure. So from Portugal to New York, we've got a return to the show again into the third or fourth appearance now, becoming a regular. Wolf Glass, introduce yourself, Wolf, and the story behind your song, Passerby. Yeah, um, it's a song about, um, I'm a singer, songwriter from New York. Um, it's a song about mortality. Um, and I and I recorded it, and I always wanted to record a song with a real string, uh, string orchestra. It was a quartet, um, and I I uh, hired some a quartet. It almost made me broke, but I think it was worth it. Um, so yeah, the strings are all real. Um, she this woman arranged it, and I and I I did some tweaks with her arrangement. So um, yeah, it's a passerby. I'm just a passerby. That's what it is. Brother, everything, everything you do is absolutely magnificent, man. This Thank guy's a, a, absolutely great artist. Passerby by Wolf Glass, and I can call him Wolfie, he says, but only me. Wolf Glass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One love. Life passes us by like the blink of an eye. No one wants to grow old, but the grays they grow. And every day we see the sun, seems like time is on the run. You wish you could go back in time, but there will never be a rewind yet. Every day we take a ride Sometimes we struggle, sometimes we glide But the more we look inside 
Then we come to realize that Dreams they are the door to death Got some time before your last breath The more we live the more we learn And the wheel it keeps on turning Just a passerby And this road is so wide When I open my eyes It's just the love inside And everything in life you pay Don't be so sad, don't be so great Take a leap into the unknown And your fears are blown away So far away Nights. Watch the stars, they shine so bright Oh mystery, what did you hold? And the truth, it will be told And if you tried to count the stars but You could never be too far How many cycles of the moon And it was just a baby boom It was a baby boom Gotta make room for this year, baby boy. I'm just a passerby. I'm along for the ride. I'm just a passerby, yeah. I'm along for the ride. Life passes us by Like the blink of an eye, Absolutely world class, dude. Honestly, just thank you, man. You know how much I love you. Let's hear what Kim over in Florida has to say, and then Monique, who's up next. Uh, if you'd like to say something after Kim, well, I would up your track, that would be awesome. Kim, uh, does anybody ever tell you you sound a little bit like Lou Reed? I've heard that, yes, <laughs> yeah, like they have. Okay, all right, it's just not me then. That's great. Uh, thank always you. Always love that voice, you know, just an easy going flow. His voice and yours also. Um, I think the orchestration was a great idea, by the way. Uh, just awesome. I, and I love the jazz stylings with the guitar. I mean, in oh, yeah. reality, this could be like a like an easy jazz or, or a smooth jazz uh, tune, you know? It, yeah. it could go to any smooth jazz station and probably get play immediately. But I'll definitely uh, stick it on Kelstash Music. I'll post you. Just Appreciate like I will... It. Everybody on the show today. <laughs> Thank you. But really good stuff. I appreciate appreciate it. I love that jazz guitar that was in there. Did you play that or? Um, that's this guitar player I've been playing with for years, and he does happen to be a jazz player. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Well, my son's a jazz musician, so I noticed that right away. But uh, awesome, awesome, brother! Nice job. Thank you. Thanks. Well, well said, Kim. And is it Kimbo we actually call you, or is it Kim? Is your nickname Kimbo? Is it? Kimbo, yeah, because when your name's Kim growing up, you get, get into a lot of fights, you know? So, hey, that's junior, it, man. I'll, like, change, I'll change it in two seconds. One, two, done. Like like Monique, Kimbo. Kimbo. Nickname. <laughs> nice one. Wow. Monique, what were your thoughts here on Wolf? I believe you know each other as well. Um, but yes, yes, he's the one who put me on to you. Um, Wolf, I don't think I ever heard this one before. It's a good song. <laughs> I've seen ah, it thanks. It's very nice. 
very nice uh, and i agree it, 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 it it's very much so jazzy and i i love it and it's like a relaxing vibe and i mean like from one passerby to another it, it's it's a great feeling it's just like especially like towards the end when you think the song's going to end and it doesn't it's like you know we go through the same day over and over <clears throat> again you know yeah. so I, I was feeling it thank you well said, well said. So, so yeah. Wolf, how does, anyone, how does anyone get a hold of you at the end? Just everyone see your website or the best means of contact. Actually, you know, I use Facebook more. Um, and I use my personal page, which is just like my name. Um, it's not my music. There is a music page on Facebook, but I don't use it that much. But this one, Wolf Glass, is where I do most of my live streams on Facebook. So um, that's where you'll find me. And there's a picture of me holding a guitar with a COVID mask on, so you'll know that it's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's only one Wolf Glass. You're wonderful, man. Thank Thanks you. again. Thanks. Have the next Thank time. You. Thank you. In fact, you. Wolf, um, you're going to help me introduce Monique. Our next guest is also from New York. Her name is Monique Sherelle Brown. Could you introduce uh, what you know about Monique, and then Monique can introduce herself, Wolf? Sure. Um, so I, I play in. Uh, there's a place I play in New York called the Shrine. It's one of my regular stomping grounds, and and I've I've met Monique there and i and um she told me she did music so i i i heard it and um yeah i mean i i surprised me a lot because some of her songs are countryish, and um yeah so she's she's been doing a great job and she's been to nashville and uh she 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 was uh nominated for some award there so um she's a really great person songwriter Oh, well said. I love the introduction there. So, Monique uh, Brown, Monique Sher Sherelle Brown, how would, uh, could you introduce yourself? Uh, who are you as an artist? And what's the story behind your song, Gone, that we're going to feature today? Um, I lost my grandmother back in January. Uh, she was my best friend. We lived together, and she was always there for me. So she was my heart. Um, more, Even more backstory than that, my grandmother loved country music. Um, and I, a lot of my songs, I don't consider myself country, but the guy that I make songs with, um, I come up with an idea and he's kind of like a country blues guy. So it, it goes that route and, and it's kind of been working out. So I did a song about social injustice called When I Say, and that song actually had gotten nominated for a Josie Award last year, which took me down to Nashville. My grandmother was so excited, so happy for me, and I'm so blessed that she was able to see me get nominated for a country, <laughs> someone of a country song. So um, when she passed in January, I've been, I've had like this ongoing project. Uh, I got quite a few songs, the music's down. Now I just have to lay down proper vocals um, to release my first album. Um, so when she passed, um, I was like, I was determined to make a record for her and I was determined for that record to be put in for a Josie Award. It was like so important. I almost gave up for like a week and I'm like, I can't do it, I can't do it. But I got the song done and I, it actually got recognized and it's um, up for a Songwriter Achievement Award, Award. So that means so much. Oh, that's a very special thing to do. Everyone loves their grandmas, you know. So you know, they're, 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 they're just like oh, I'm another. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Somehow my phone rang. Yeah, <laughs> just continue oh, no. what you were saying. Oh, no. That's okay. Uh, just continue what you were saying. You're... Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. These things happen. Nobody ever calls on the phone now. <laughs> well, I was doing they call. <laughs> Hey, what a wonderful thing to do for your grandma because every, everybody loves her. I, I called my grands my nanas and they're the most amazing people in the world. So let, let's get acquainted with this beautiful track. It is beautiful. M Monique Sherelle Brown with Gone in memory of her grandma. Eh? Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. One love. <laughs> Precious moments, night always comes Woke up, God bless, got to see another sun So much pain, you kept holding on Feel you but your body ain't warm And you're
There's another 30 seconds there, but that was just an absolute perfect way to end that. Monica. I haven't heard that in a while. I actually am crying now. Honestly, it's such a beautiful song, beautiful song. So, <laughs> same again, Kimbo, then Justin, yeah. you're up next. So, um, Kimbo and then Justin from Slick Cherry, uh, if you would like to say something, please. Well, I love the fact that you dedicated it, you know, to your grandmother. Um, I think anything that's heartfelt like that, you're going to perform. Yes, deeply. And um, that's that's just fantastic. It, it's you know, you mentioned a little bit of country there, a little bit of country there. There's I, I love I love the uh, gospel chorus. I mean, basically uh, touching on the gospel aspect of things. Um, there's definitely some blues in your in your vocals and um, also a little bit of blues guitar happening. But cross it over again to the country. I mean, it's like, it's like a nice mashup of all of those genres and you pull it off perfectly. I, I mean, the composition is great. So again, uh, excellent job. Uh, it's something I could listen to very easily, uh, you know, sitting on the back porch. So uh, it's great. Thank you. Well, well said, Kimball. Justin, um, what's your thoughts there, dude? Monique, oh my God, wow. That's all I got to say from, from the, honestly, every single lyric you could, I could hear it in you. You meant every single word. And yeah, I, I, I've lost both my grandmothers. So, so like when, the, when the darkness did you wrong, I oh, got me, got me, completely got me. Your voice is amazing. It's such a beautiful track. I'm honestly incredible. And like Kimbo said as well, with the gospel element coming in, ah, oh, had me, had me from the get go. Absolutely had me from the get go. So yeah, you really, you really got inside as well. Like I said, losing, losing a grandparent, I lost both my grandmothers, and yeah, that was yeah. The darkness did you wrong. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. Thank you. Uh, can I just say one more thing that I didn't mention about the song? But um, when I did the song, I actually told my guitar player I wanted to add a heart to it because she was my living angel. And um, he told me that could be a really bad idea or really genius. So there is actually a real harp. We brought a harp player <laughs> to the studio <laughs> and um, it went along, cue drums, 
heart <laughs> key. <laughs> it's it's a lot going on there. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's absolutely wonderful track, and uh, bless you. For, honestly, your grandma will be looking down, and she'll just she'll just love you so much more for that, you know. Uh, so, how does everyone find you? And then we've only got five more acts. We've got Slick Cherry, Red Beard, Jody, Russ, and the Factory of Art. The next two is Slick Cherry, then Factory of Art. So, hopefully, we can all stay around for the full show. But how does anyone find you, Monique? Um, you could find me easily. I have a page on Facebook, Monique Cheryl Brown. Um, I'm also uh, Monique Brown 001 on Instagram and Twitter. I don't use so much, but my handle is oh gosh, I just forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just I just had a mind blank. But um, if you just Google Monique Sherelle Brown, you'll find me like yeah, pretty fine. much on all the platforms that the popular ones. <laughs> Honestly, thanks for coming on the show and thanks to Will for actually uh, you, you so know for having me. Yeah. Thank you, Will. Uh, thank you until the next time, dear. All right. Thanks. So from New York, back over to the UK, represented by Justin. Our next guest is Slick Cherry, a great band. This honestly, Justin, could you tell us who are Slick Cherry and what's the story behind your song "Women"? So, um, so the band consists of uh, Jimmy, who's my guitarist, um, Al's our bass player, and Steve's our drummer. Um, this is going to be a bit louder. Everyone, everyone starts being really, really lovely and really, really nice. And yeah, this is a bit, it's a bit loud. So um, just as a warning, <laughs> just before we start, women's actually um, music from the musical side. Um, Jimmy and myself, we, we we write together. The uh, this is actually a combination. Would you believe of three different songs that he never really did anything with, and then we kind of molded them together. Um, and then he, from the lyrical point of view, yeah, it gets a bit naughty. I mean, there's some there's some naughty lyrics in there. So, um, but yeah, that that's how it came about. The the band's only been together. We've been together seven months now, and this is the debut single. So, this is all uncharted waters for us. But uh, so far, so good. And and we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, we're loving it right now. And doing things like this is great. Hey, honestly, it's a great, great track, and it's a great band name you've got as well, Slick Cherry. You know, and you're a gentleman speaking to you for the first time tonight. Let's let's go for it. Slick Cherry with the track, the debut track, Woman. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. One love.
absolutely brilliant, man. Just awesome. I'd like to hear uh, Kimbo, the same again. Kimbo, then for Alf, you're up next. So would you like to say something after Kimbo? Well, I'll load up Factory of Arts track as a mixed guest. Kimbo? Oh, I know these guys. I uh, I posted them last week on Kelt Stash Music, actually. I don't know if he remembers or, you know, awesome. whoever. We, uh, we did it because I love the fact um, I always loved the garage band sound, okay? Always strong guitars. Uh, vocals, I mean, akin to ACDC in all reality. Maybe even a little bit of mountain. But um, I, I, I just think that's great. You had the perfect spot for the wah, wah, wah. You know, that was great. Um, but again, uh, I wouldn't have posted them if there wasn't something there. So <laughs> that's pretty cool, you know, that, that this guy is in one of the bands that I, I promoted just recently. So, I mean, congratulations. I think it's a great tune. And I'll keep posting whatever you got coming, brother. Thank you. Oh, well said, but Kimber, that's awesome. Welcome to the show, Heston Cleveland and 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 and, and uh, Katie Dorham are there from Black Nova. Uh, oh, and the lovely Carrie's here as well. Um, they're actually just tuning in to listen to us while we're while they're traveling around over in California. An honor that is. Thanks for coming, guys. Um Thor Alf in Germany, what was your thoughts on Slick Cherry? Yes. Yeah, I love this energetic stuff. I'm an ACDC fan, huge ACDC fan. And, uh, <laughs> but I think it will work live on stage very, very good. Uh, I've, mm. The track was fantastic. And a little bit of CZ Top Groove, I, I felt. It was great. Thank you very much. I liked it very much. And uh, hope... Anytime, uh, sometime uh, we can bring see you live on stage because I can imagine that words live very, very good. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. I'll let the boys know. Um, yeah, great. Thank you for the comments, Kimbo. Thank you, Thor. That's that's honestly, thanks a lot. This is a this is a big deal for us, and we're still in uncharted territory. So God knows what's going to happen, but fingers crossed, we'll like it. So. Yeah. Well said, well said. So so how does anyone find you, hey, Justin? Slick Cherry. How does anyone find you guys? It's a unique name, but yeah, website or anything. Uh yeah, so uh we're on Facebook. Uh it's Slick Cherry on Facebook. Um we're also on Instagram, which is uh slick underscore cherry underscore band. Um they're the main two at the moment. Um websites in the in, in the pipeline at the moment, but yeah, but mainly Facebook to be fair. Oh, well, honestly, it's an honour to have you here, dude. Thanks for coming on the show. And until the Thanks next time, Thank you. Hey, it's an honour, man. So from Thank the UK you. over to Deutschland and Germany, <laughs> yeah. we call it yeah. here in the West, uh, represented by Thor or Thor Alf, who yeah. are Factory of Art and what's the story behind your song, No Tears? Yeah. Factory of Art is a metal band, progressive metal band with an, hmm, more than 30 years history. Uh, we are five guys, uh, a funny crowd of IT experts, uh, pedagogical directors, uh, technical supporters and so on, but we love to make music. Uh, we are not professional musicians, um, but we, we try it again and again. <laughs> we, we founded a tribute uh, a project to play uh, songs of our heroes from ACDC tell us to Van Halen. Um, but now uh, the time has come to, 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 to record our third full-length album but the song we uh, uh, gave you to 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 play um is a song from our second album no tears is a song about a guy who thinks uh, that his life will, uh, uh, will change uh, for for a better way uh, no tears means he looks in a mirror and, and he swear no tears again a uh, little bit stolen by Ozzy <laughs> sure um, but um, it's only a tragic uh, uh, illusion his life will end tragically it's uh, we are a metal band sure we have <laughs> these problems to, <laughs> to solve with our music it's um, I think it's a fantastic track um, I thank you uh, that you played uh, just a rock and roll track before us because uh, the songs uh, at the uh, beginning of your, your show were very bluesy, very emotional. And I was a little bit afraid, who, what will the people see to do about this contract, uh, contrast uh, to, to our hard music? I hope, hope you love uh, uh, our hard stuff too. You, uh, I have to apologize seriously because my English is not so good. Hey. But I 
but I understand everything. And if you want to play uh, uh, talk German to me, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, your, your English is perfect. It's very, very good. And also, I tried to put it in sections. So I've got like kind of three kind of like kind of harder songs, yeah, uh, yeah. Slick Cherry Yourself, and then Mark's Story. And then I've got two softer, beautiful tracks at the end of the, the show from Russ and Jody. So uh, without further ado, let everyone hear your wonderful track. Thank you. No for Tears that. by Factory of Art. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. One.
a fantastic <laughs> musician you guys are, eh? What a wonderful video. Thank uh, you. Let's let's do the same again. Uh, Kimbo, then Redbeard, you're the next guest. So, uh, Kimbo, then Redbeard. Yeah, uh, Ronnie James Dio lives. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the horns, man. You know, that's great. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you, you kick ass with that song. I mean, really, I can say ass on this show, can I? Yeah, yeah man. Ass. It's great. So, Thank you. Uh, you know what? I, I think also we uh, we posted a song of yours last week, too. <laughs> that three of ours. So <laughs> I'm seeing all the faces behind the music now, which is fantastic. I really appreciate them inviting me on. But uh, you, you know what I, I found really can be a complicated thing is is meshing the piano keyboards okay yeah. with screaming guitar yeah i mean you know it, that's difficult so you guys got some great composition going on there i mean really the guitar was chunky when it came into the lead guitar it yeah. was screaming lead guitar i mean fantastic and i love some growls thrown in at the right okay. places too <laughs> That was great. Plus, I love the I love the Billy Squire poster on behind you on the wall. That was <laughs> Billy Squire back there. Yeah, man, I saw him a few years ago, many years ago. But uh, yeah, all good stuff, brother. Nice. Thank job. you very much. That's well so, said. So, well so, said. So, well so, said. So, thank you, Kimbo. Kimbo, what a great addition to this uh, show that you are, man. I swear, man. If you can come on one of these once a week, you're more than welcome. I do several shows every week, and it's great to have you here, Mister Redbeard. What was your thoughts there, brother? Well, I think the word outstanding really says it all. Um, great composition, intelligent composition, many layers, dark, light, shade, it's all in there. Vocals were outstandingly brilliant. I mean, the vocals were brilliant. The musicianship, no doubt about it, that is that is a band full of people who know what the hell they're doing with their instruments. So that is 10 out of 10 from me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will tell, tell of my bandmates. No, I don't. I, I, it's for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Honestly, well said, guys. You know, um, Factory of Art were on a show the other week, but it was the one where we had like 20 guests on and, and, and they couldn't stay around till the end of it. So I'm really, really sorry about that the last time. I'm so glad you have come back on and it's a wonderful track here. Thor and the Factory of Art, until the next time. In fact, how do we find you? Do you have a website? I'm sorry. Do you have a website? Yeah, sure. Uh, we have a website, Factory of Art. Sure, we are uh, uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and, and, and such things. Factory of Art. It's uh, there is a tattoo studio in Dortmund, Germany, West Germany, uh, with the same name, but Factory of Art Band. We show you the right way. Nice one, nice one. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. So, from Germany over to London. For my other co-host in this show, Mr. Mark Redbeard's story. Introduce yourself, dude, and tell us the story out behind your marvellous track, Feed My Demons. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Mark Story, and I write and compose my own material. I play everything on it. If I do a cover, I turn it on its head, uh, and I produce and create my own videos. So basically, if you don't like anything, it's my fault. <laughs> Um, I am used to collaborating with people so people would send me an mp3 and I would write my lyrics to the mp3 they sent me so consequently when I write my own stuff I tend to write my backing track and then I start work on the lyrics rather than have a set of lyrics ready so the song Feed My Demons uh, I came upon the main riff which is at the beginning when I was just jamming along one night just jamming with my guitar and I got the whole backing track done on it and, and it took a certain direction and it became the song Feed My Demons. What the song's about is the places I have to go uh, in order to find the lyrics I want to write. So sometimes I have to go down some dark little rabbit holes and go and have a little chat with my past traumas and basically meet and feed my demons so they can supply me with the ideas I need to write my lyrics. Um, so that's what the song's about. It's also about having a very vivid imagination. So enjoy, enjoy. Mark, uh, a.k.a. our very own, um, you know, who's your idol in this world again? Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper. So as I just, it just slipped, slipped my mind. He's our very own Alice Cooper, and uh, he's absolutely brilliant. Wait till you see this track, ladies and gentlemen. Feed My Demons by Mark Story. One love.
mask of skin and bone, my secret identity. And it's good to know that you're never alone with a split personality. Been drowning in slow motion with my alter ego since I can remember. The Mark story, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely awesome. And one of our other guests is coming to the show, Kenzie. Also, we've got three guests to go now. Um, after after uh, this section, we've got Russ, then Jody, then Kenzie. Welcome to the show, Kenzie. If you're on your mobile, swipe right and you'll see all the other people in the show. Swipe on your phone and you'll see everyone in gallery mode, just in case you don't know that. So, Kimbo and then Russ, our next guest. Kimbo, what was your thoughts on Mark's track? Well, I load up Russ's song, please. Kimbo, then Russ. When I uh, heard the, the bass riffs uh, to start the song, I mean, all I could think of was uh, Tommy Stewart and Dire Wolf, who, you know, I mean, they're basically bass and drums and that's it, but uh, they pull it off. Uh, so I immediately loved it. It gave it that, that really downbeat feel. Um, and I think I, I, I commented, it's kind of that voodoo vibe, you know? Yeah. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Dr. John. 
meets, uh, you know, Bone Fierce Johnny meets, uh, you know, all the blues artists I've heard. And it, it's just fantastic. I mean, I, I love it. That's, you know, uh, being in Texas for six years and Louisiana and all, you know, that sound is just in my brain and, and I love it. Fantastic, brother. I mean, uh, you hit it. You nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I call my stuff kind of dark voodoo blues. Most of it's kind of yeah. in that vein. <laughs> but if you're from Texas, my well, favorite, no, one I, of my favorite, are you from Texas? I lived in Texas uh, for six years in Nacogdoches, Lufkin area. And I used yeah. to go to, uh, I had a guy who uh, had a Zydeco radio station in his trailer. Okay. It was like, uh, it, it wasn't registered, so it was illegal. But we'd go there yeah. every Sunday night for about three hours, and a guy would spin his thousands of albums, you know, out for really? a thousand watts and, and reach about, you know, the next trailer park down the road. But uh, yeah. it was fantastic. So all of that sound just, just comes and hits me, and I love it. And I cut my teeth on the blues anyway. But I lived yeah. in Texas about six years, and uh, I'm from New England originally, moved to Honduras, Pennsylvania, now I'm in Florida. So I'm getting a lot more of that Southern, uh, you know, rock down here too, the blues. Um, yeah. And those people I mentioned are pretty, pretty good blues players, you know, here in Florida. So, you know, Yeah. anyway, no, great job, man. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, still my favorite band's from Texas and that's um, obviously ZZ yeah. Top and King's X. Uh, so yeah, Texas has a place in my heart. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> like yeah. Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, it's a different it. place. <laughs> Where we're yeah, I can now. tell you, no, great music. Yeah, great music. I can tell you two are going to be best mates just for look at the shape of their beards. Exact same. They're just you know, I can just tell you they're going to be best mates. We're going to go but, get us some uh, etouffee. So <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Kimbo. Nice one. So Russ Stallings, our next guest. What was your thoughts on your your your, your now close friend as well, Mark Story here? What's your thoughts on that track there, Russ? Yeah, let, let me just say that uh, what I love about Mark is this. First of all, he's not trying to be like anybody else. He is totally unique, and he is fine with that, and part, that's part of what makes him so great. And uh, he has a way of saying things in his lyrics that are very important to that need to be said. But and the thing, too, is underneath that rough exterior and the – wild images and the hard-hitting vocals and, and Mark's an excellent singer and and banging uh, guitar and all that is a super nice guy <laughs> and you know what's crazy is in this world a lot of people miss out they miss all that because they're too busy looking at the exterior of people you know and 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 not getting to know a person and that's a that's a sad part of this world but uh Man, Mark, uh, I think you're super talented, man. I think you got a great voice. I think that's a really cool song. And I appreciate the explanation you gave at the beginning of the song. Because if people are not paying attention, they miss what the song is about, which is this is you going back and revisiting past traumas, right? This is how you go there. This is how you deal with and cope with crap that's happened to you, man. And yeah. so, but anyway... I get you, man. I get you. I see you. And I think it's a cool song. So and I think Thanks, you're cool. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I mean, it's, uh, it's like cathartic, isn't it? It's like, yes. where do you channel all these, these problems and things that play on your mind? And if you're into music, you've got the perfect channel for it. But uh, yeah. in return, because um, you're up next, um, you know that you single-handedly turn me on to country music, don't you? That's not a lie. I, I didn't really get on with country music very much. It was one of the forms of music. But through listening to your stuff, I literally have, you turn me on to it, especially your stuff. You know what I mean? You're, you're the number one country man in my book because you turn me on to country music. So uh, I love you, bro. <laughs> well said, Kai. Well, Thank you. well said. Mr. Redbeard, how do we find you? How does anyone find you there? Just... Uh... Yeah, I'm usually doing the back of the set of you with a remote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, Mark Story Music on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, there's a few Mark Story Musics out there, uh, but mine's the one with the voodoo doll and the red bits. So, should be <laughs> I mean, 
and uh, I'm on TikTok. I do acoustic stuff on TikTok, uh, TikTok, Mark Story 562, but Mark Story Music on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And I uh, just want to say before I bugger off um, from off spot, another fantastic show, Sparky, with fantastically talented people again. Uh, Where do absolutely. you find these people? Hey, Where do you, you know find what? them? Just, I mean, that's what I spend my life on is just checking out musicians, man. That's all I do all the time, you know. And there is going to be a new format like this where every show I'm going to have a radio personality with me, somebody else, and, and I'm going to show people the amount of partnerships I've got in waiting, you know. And we're going, to, we're going to keep doing this, Mark. We're just a baby here. So thank you for the compliment. So but from London all the way to Nashville, Tennessee, for a return to the show for Russ Stalins. Russ, introduce yourself and tell us about the story, uh, the story behind your song, Write her till she bucks. Yeah. Uh, hey, this, uh, my name's Russ Dallas. Uh This song, uh, you'll see an image uh, of, for this song. And uh, actually, it's a picture. And, and there, that's actually me. Uh, and I'm sitting on the back of a bull. Uh, that picture was taken when I was on the college rodeo team and, at Murray State University. And that picture was taken in uh, Monroe, Louisiana. And uh, so anyway, uh, my life, not unlike a lot of people's, has uh, not been a bed of roses. And uh, we all go through hardships in life. But, you know, life is kind of like a rodeo, you know. Uh, it's not whether or not you're going to get bucked off. You're going to get bucked off. It's uh, whether or not you get back on, uh, you keep going, you know. And so uh, life's kind of like that. That's what this song is about. That's what I wrote it about, you know. Um, uh, I'm gonna ride it till she bucks, you know. <laughs> ride hey, it out, man. As Mark do. says, uh, as Mark says, you're you're one of the best country artists on the planet. Everybody needs to hear you. Just sit back and enjoy everything Russ Downs does is amazing. This is his, one of his other tracks. Ride her till she bucks. This is a debut track on the show. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, when I was four years old, Mama shopped at the Piggly Wiggly down the road. Four quarters and electric horse and a little cowboy's dream. I rode the hair off of that rodeo machine. I spent most of my life just hanging on by prayer. With my hat down tight, spurring a rain nightmare. So I don't spend too many nights alone Stray kitty cats out on the town But I don't need to roam I got a wildcat waiting for me back at home I spend most of my life just hanging on by prayer With my hat down tight, spurring a rain nightmare And I might run out of money, luck or gas in my pickup truck But until I do I'll ride until she bucks Yeah, 
Ross Dallins, ladies and gentlemen. Just a wonderful, brilliant. Uh, same again, Kimbo and Jody. You're the next guest. Um, Kimbo, then Jody. What was your thoughts on that beautiful track? Man? Yeah, I know where Monroe, Louisiana is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't caught any rodeos there. We used to travel through there on our way to Jackson, Mississippi. But I'll tell you what, you've got some honky tonk rocking there, raging yeah. honky tonk, you know. Uh, and uh, I hit some of those uh, places here in uh, Florida once in a while, and you know, we have a rocking good time, man. It's great. You got it down. I think it'd be the perfect follow-up song to Save a Horse and Ride a Cowboy. I think this is the, uh, you know, the polar opposite. <laughs> but this way you're getting the guys and the gals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That stuff is great, man. Good job. I mean, Thank you. you did. Well said, man. Well said. Jody De Liberto, uh, what was your thoughts there? You've been smiling all night. Sorry, we've not spoke to you yet. And um, what was your thoughts here on that beautiful track? It was excellent. It was everything that's great about country music, all in that one song. Your voice is perfect. It's that your pitch is perfect. You don't always hear that in a singer. Every single note you sang was exactly on pitch. Your voice is strong. The instrumentation was brilliant. Every instrument that came in, came in at a spot where you were you were ready for it, but you didn't know it. Like when it came in, it was just so welcome. Really nice job. Thank you. Well said, Jody. I thought, didn't we just tell you how good he was? Uh, honestly, Russ. How does everyone find you, brother? You're just magnificent there, man. How does everyone find you, Mr. Russ Stallings? Uh, Russ Stallings on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, Amazon Music out, out there, all, all those places, you know. So come find me. I, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You know, Russ Stallings, until the next time. Amazing. Great friend to have. So from Nashville over to New Jersey, we've got two guests left, Jody DiLiberto and then Kenzio. So the show won't last much longer, ladies and gents. Jody DiLiberto, could you introduce yourself? Who are you as an artist? And what's the story behind your song, Song for Ireland? I am a Celtic musician, mostly. I play music from also medieval and Renaissance. I do Renaissance and medieval festivals. And that's the kind of music that I play and I sing. I've also been a music teacher and um, it's the best experience to teach young children. A song for Ireland is I co-wrote with my husband who was at the time my fiance, but he didn't know we had co-written it together. He, um, he wrote lyrics that he had posted on his website and he was living in Australia. And Neil and I met on Reverb Nation and then Facebook and we started getting involved and without having, having met in person. So I had written this music um, that I had written on my harp and um, my dulcimer and I wanted some lyrics for it. And I, I couldn't think, I, I'm not, I'm a, I write poetry, but it doesn't rhyme. And I have a problem with that. Um, I'm not, the rhyming just doesn't happen for me. Um, I'm writing a song now that's not going to rhyme and that's just the way it's gonna be. But Neil had these beautiful lyrics that did rhyme. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna put that to my song and um, sing it and, and I'll surprise him with it. So I did, I recorded it and um, until I was happy with the way it came out, that's always a challenge. And then I sent it to him and we were on video chat when he played it. And he said, oh, it was really nice. He was happy and I said, do you recognize the lyrics? And he said, no. And I said, well, I didn't write them. I said, you did. So then he had to listen again. And yeah, he finally, he recognized his lyrics. So yeah, that, that song for Ireland. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Honestly, it's such a beautiful track. Sit back and enjoy this. Song for Ireland by Jody DeLiberto. I hope I'm saying your name right. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Feet Neil Milliner at the time, yes. One love.
That was absolutely beautiful. I can see in everyone's face how much they were enjoying that. Jodie Orrissey, it's a special song. I plan to end the show with that one. Kenzo came in halfway through, so Kenzo's now the last one. So, Kimbo, what was your thoughts? Then, Kenzo, if you would like to say something to Jodie, then, then we will, we'll get to the final section of the evening. Kimbo, then Kenzo. Yes, uh, thank you. Sorry, sorry, Kenzo, you have bad backdrop. Uh, the audio yeah. comes through from the back. Um, it may be too loud, but we'll go Kimbo first, please. Go Kimbo. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, she was hitting eyes that I don't know were humanly possible, okay, with that song. In fact, what it did was almost reach the angels. I'm going to wax poetic here. I, I, it, was, it was spiritual almost, okay? Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, it brought a tear to my eye. I mean, it's just awesome, awesome voice and vocals, just incredible. And uh, I'll tell you what, the lyrics, hey, give you give your husband a slap on the back for me because that was that was very poignant, good stuff. Uh, I, I mean, I do enjoy that kind of music as my wife is 100% Irish and uh, I'm very Celtic, but uh, man, you just, you just nailed it. She just... I, I'm uh, I'm just like wow, <laughs> totally wow. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> hey, same here, Kim. I threw the love hearts up in the air for that one, and my internet's breaking up here, so I don't know what's happening. It's not cool. Oh. Um, Kenjo, what's your thoughts? Kenjo, did you do you like Jody's track? Yes, it's back. <laughs> Hi. What's going on here? Hi, Something weird's happening with the show. Oh, it's not been cut off. Kenzio, your audio at the back is very bad, bro. We can't we can't hear you too much too much bad noise coming through. You, can you go somewhere else because we can't hear anything? Um, Jodie, how does anyone find you, dear? What's the best way for anyone to find you, Jodie De Liberto? Oh, my website is from the purplehouse.art. From the purplehouse.art. And you can yes. also find her on Facebook under the name Jodie De Liberto. That's where I'm your friend as well. So you can. Th thanks for coming on the show. I'm having signal problems here. So thank you very much, Jodie De Liberto. Thank you. Right. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to unmute Kenzio and you tell us the story behind your song um, and the rhythm of the night. Just tell us about your song because the audio is quite bad the, the, the round about you. So who is Kenzio and what's the story behind and the rhythm of the night? If it works, if it doesn't, you, you're, you're muted there. So try, this is too bad, bro. Kenzio? Yeah, yes, yeah, thank you for the invitation. It's a great pleasure uh, to be here with you. <laughs> Kenzio, um, where are you from? Is it Italy? Yeah, you are listening to me. You're from, you're from Italy, right, cool. Tell us the story behind your song and the rhythm of the night. Yeah, yeah. In the rhythm of the Sorry. night, yeah. I I talk about love. <laughs> hey, thank you, dude. The, there seems to be a language barrier here. The song is called In the Rhythm of the Night. We've usually got a translator, Kenzio, with In the Rhythm of the Night, ladies and gentlemen. And then Kimbo is going to tell us over five, ten minutes about what he does with his music promotions, and that's the show. So sit back and enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great track, Kenzio, In the Rhythm of the Night. One love. <laughs>
Kenji, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do you know, this is called the 1010 Diverse Show uh, for a reason. It's you don't know who's on the show. There's rappers, that they can be opera singers, rock stars. But do you know, I do 1010 Blues shows, 1010 Rock shows, EDM, which I'll get you back on, Kenzio, 1010 Country, Russ and I is yet to start that show. So we do these shows in specialised genres as well. So the diverse show is my favourite because we never know what's going to happen and we don't know who, who's coming next. I try and put it in a little bit of an order. Uh, Kimbo, before we get to your final section, bro, what was your thoughts on that marvellous uh, EDM track by Kenzio there? I want to party with Kenzio. <laughs> I want yeah, to man. party till it's like five in the morning. And then I suggest we all go get flapjacks, pancakes and eggs, and I'll buy. You know, serious. If you've ever been to that sort of a show, I mean, you forget where you're at, okay? You've had a few shots, maybe maybe one or two. <laughs> no, probably more. But anyway, yeah, you forget where you're at, and all of a sudden, it's like you're welcoming the sun in the sky. And you, <laughs> that's the music, man. Let's rave. <laughs> I'm going to be there with you. Next time I go to Italy, I'm going to find you, and we're going to party, all right? And I'll buy yeah. the pancakes. <laughs> Seriously <laughs> great stuff, man. Well, well said, Kimbo. So, Kenzo, that was a great song, Kenzo. Um, how do we, do you have a website? How does people find you? Instagram, website? Okay, thank you, Parker, uh, for the chance uh, to be here with you. Uh, my songs, uh, I like to talk uh, about love, uh, human rights. Uh, my inspiration uh, comes from the joy of living. Uh, <laughs> You're a very happy man. It's been a th thank you for coming on the show. It's been so good. Kenzo, everybody. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Ciao, thank you. Ciao, thank ciao. You very much. Bye, Bye, thank you. Gracias. <laughs> right, so from Italy to Florida, this is our featured guest of the evening. Uh, Kimbo, tell us all about Celt Tash music, what you do for musicians and what you'll probably do for the artists that's on tonight's show and any other show that you're featured with. Uh, Kimbo, take the mic. Well, I, I started slow. Um, back in 2015, I had a band named The Kindred and uh, we started getting airplay. Um, you know, at first we were just gigging around Pennsylvania and uh, that's fine, but you're not getting your music out there very well. So the idea was, how do you get your music out there? Well, I started doing a lot of research and made a lot of, um, a lot of good people, a lot of mentors, um, uh, a lot of radio station DJs, uh, you know, a lot of uh, web designers, things like that. And they helped us actually to the point where we got signed. Um, but it was so difficult to get to that point. Um, I figured that when I finally retired from doing all of that stuff along with my regular career, which was a, uh, I worked at a prison as a uh, correctional officer, okay? So I wanted to do something that I could give back to the indie community because I realized that indie music is the only music that is actually from the heart to whoever's listening to it. Um, everything these days when it comes to the music industry is a little bit adulterated through the record companies and also the radio stations. I, you can't get on a radio station unless you are uh, dealing with some kind of a, a, a high corp you know, individual uh, sitting behind a desk. So, you know, to me, the pure music out there right now that's going to save the world musically is independent music. And it's not really just that you're not signed. It's, it's, a, gen it's a genre at this point. So um, I decided that, hey, I'm going to do it after I retire. I've got a little bit of money. But believe me, <laughs> you know how it is. I mean, you put money into things. You don't really make money on it. You do it for the love of it. And we really do love indie music. So, um, you know, I found the right people to help me out. And uh, we, we've been going strong, attempting to promote as many bands, artists, also authors and, you know, graphic artists. So if people need that sort of thing in their... Um, 
in, in their you know, projects, whether, whether it's an album or whatever they're doing, uh, we also promote that too. So, um, you know, that's how we got started with it. And it's just going leaps and bounds right now. Uh, we have the page on keltstashmusic.com and it is with a K, uh, not a C, not like the, uh, you know, you know if, if, you're, if you're in Britain, I mean, you say a Celt, it's with a K, but in the United States, you say Celtic, and everybody thinks you're a Boston Celtics basketball fan. So, you know, we went with the Celtic with the K. But if you see what's up there, I mean, that's that's who we are. It's a little bit of a complex name, but it, it sure sure is different. So, you know, that's one of the things we wanted to do. And it, it was really surprising to me. I, I know, I knew Jody, uh, you know, I, I've seen her on and also have promoted some of her stuff years ago. Um, and Slick Cherry, that surprised me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, uh, the, the factory of art, I mean, okay, we just, we just, add. so there's a lot of bands out there that we come across together and I give you kudos and your show. Um, you know, you're helping indie musicians and artists to get out there. Okay. And also you're bringing some of the older guys who the, the white beards like myself, you know, to be able to get their stuff listened to that where nobody else might have listened to them because some record company said, ah, eh, we don't want it. But, um, you know, as well as I do that the indie radio stations, they're saving music as we know it. And um, anytime you would ever want to have me back on, I absolutely would come. I mean, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Kimbo, Kimbo, you've just called yourself Whitebeard, and uh, that's what we call Stephen and, and Mark in the family. <laughs> Greenbeard, Redbeard, honestly, you fit the bill. Your new name, Kimbo, aka Whitebeard, and this show you can come. <laughs> as <my> Whitebeard. <laughs> I will let you know if you can come to maybe pencil in every Tuesday show or every second Tuesday or something at the same time. You, you can come on one yeah. of these once a week with me. I would hey, you be want honored. me to do it next week? I'll be here. Next Tuesday, same time. You, you tell white me beard, what green you beard, want, red beard. I'm here. But hey, Kimball thank white you. Beard, Kimball white yeah. beard is ready to raid a monastery somewhere. You know. Hey, it's <laughs> honestly. I mean, this is just it's just meant to be, isn't it? This is like fate or something. Let's um, red beard and green beard, my other two co-hosts in this show, say something, and and then it's been a great show. But he does know a lot of people. He knew three bands on tonight's show, so uh, oh, yeah. he knows he's. Yeah, you know, three, right. three, three of the ten guests tonight, and he was one of them. So, Mister Redbeard think, and Mister. I think Greenbeard. we need to work together, brother. We need hey, to let's work do it. together. It's happening. Let's go, uh, Mister Redbeard. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, well, Sparky, you know, you've done it again, haven't you? I mean, you're just moving mountains. Um, another great show. You know, I love coming on here because you know, I think if you're a musician and you limit yourself to one genre, you're missing out. You know, you've got to keep an open mind. And the beauty of this show, I mean, you think of the, the artists we've had, and we've had metal, we've had rock and roll, we've had blues rock, we've had Celtic music, uh, ballads, beautiful emotive ballads, just, you know, um, the, the music from uh, Wolf Glass, that kind of, you know, um, I, I feel it's a bit kind of rat packish, that kind of jazzy kind mm. of sound. Uh, I like it's that. Always an, it's <laughs> always an education. It's always entertaining. It's always a laugh. And uh, I can't get enough of it. And uh, once again, tonight has been awesome. So it's great to meet all these new people. And it's great to see all the old friends as well. Well said, Redbeard, well said. Let's just, everyone who wants to see their final, uh, you know, little speech for the evening, say something. So Steve, Justin, then Jody. Well, Sparky, uh, the first thing I want to say is I agree completely with Kimbo that, you know, about indie music, that, you know, indie music is where it all starts, you know, and we need a space to get the indie music out. Uh, I've been doing indie music for a long time, and I know a lot of people that have been doing indie music for a long time. And I'm, I think, you know, I, I'm actually writing a memoir, like right now, and I'm talking about all the musicians that I've met and all the different styles of music that I've been, you know, that I've known about. And I'm actually talking to somebody from a punk band from South Wales at the moment that are still going. They're called the Icons of Filth. And I actually found them because I knew when I was living in Ely, I knew a friend of the band. And 
And so I just thought, I'm doing research as well, and I thought, well, I'll just see if I can find, is there anything about the icons of filth still around? And I found them on Instagram, and I mailed them on there, and then one of them got back to me, and he said, contact Rich from the band, and I've contacted Rich from the band, and he's talking to me now. So that's like, you know, where I, I can go with this. I can go into a, 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 a punk band from South Wales, okay they were they were hailed in their day as like a really influential punk band and, I, and you know most people would never have heard of them and that's the thing there's all these people from different strands of the indie music scene and so i i got exactly what kimbo was saying and i really appreciated that and i also i totally appreciate what you're doing sparky because as you've said like many times this is a diverse show all kinds of people come in, come in on this show presenting what they do and it's it's massive it's worldwide you know the scope of the whole music scene and i love it and that's why i'm here you know and, you, and why you can count on me to be here because i know what you're doing and i know where it's going and i can see it so once again like mark said Mr. Redbeard, it's been an amazing show. All your shows are amazing. Thank you, and you can count on me. Oh, thank you so much, man. Honestly, just you nearly make me tear up here. So we've heard from Whitebeard, Redbeard, Greenbeard. Let's go Justin, Jody, Monique. Justin, anything to say just on the night in general, brother? And we'd love you to join the music family. Come get all your songs featured, you know, the way Mark and Steve and Russ do, you know, and, and Wolf's now a member as well, so... Uh, Justin, what was your thoughts on tonight in general? Have you got anything to say to anyone? Do you know what? Seriously, this is this is seriously some of the best fun I've had with my clothes on for a long time. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, honestly, we are for, for, from the band's point of from from a personal point of view, it, it, it is it is so lovely to talk to people that are doing different styles, different genres from all over the world, and. It's incredible. I, I like all music. Okay, I'm in a rock band, but I love everything. Um, but I go back to what you were saying about independent artists. So Sparky, like yourself, Kimbo, if it wasn't for you guys doing this stuff, like little bands like mine that, that don't know, you know, sometimes which way to turn, we're in their infancy, you know, you're giving us that that way out so that people can start hearing this stuff. And and honestly, for totally grateful for, for for everything you do and everybody that's been here tonight every single eyes has been here tonight you're all incredible oh my god it's like a complete you know it's it's amazing um the one thing i will say and i did notice is that during the research and you go you join these facebook facebook community groups and everything and the one thing i know about indie artists is everybody damn well supports each other there's there isn't that exactly like if you go out and you I've, I've been in covers bands for ages and on the local scene and everyone's like oh they're better than this and this person's better than that the in, the unsigned indie scene everyone's helping each other out so i mean that really surprised me and like i say we're in our infancy so we'll see where it goes but seriously once we've got new material coming out the second single is coming out i think at the end of september i think that's when we're would you release that and the album comes out in march so if you'll have me back, I'll be back. I'm, I may even bring my guitarist up if he, if he's if he's you know not too shy. So um, absolutely, Justin. Thank wow. you so much, everyone. Thank you for all your comments. I really appreciate it. Thank Ple you. Pleasure, dude. And uh, before we go to the two the, the two ladies, um, I mean the best thing about these shows are you get to hear the stories behind why people wrote the songs, which makes the song more special. You know, you, you you in person they're telling you why they write the songs. That's that's the real special thing about this show, in my opinion. Uh, Jody, then Monique, then Russ. Jody. Well, I I almost didn't accept your friend request, and I didn't know who you were, and I'm so glad I did. This was I, I saw that we had mutual friends, so I thought, all right. And then you were asking me to come on here, and and I I had no idea what this was about. And I looked, I did watch some of your past podcasts and, and it was, um, I mean, they're wonderful. They're all wonderful, everything I've seen. But this has been a really good experience. I'm, I'm very happy to have met every single person that I've met today. Uh, Kimbo, it's nice to see you again. And um, I just want to say thank you. Oh, well, thank you, darling. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, honestly. Is it, I mean, we're up in our game from now. Monique, darling. Monique, Russ, then Thor. Monique. 
Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for having me here. Um, I got to hear, whoops, turn the light. I have, I'm having all kinds of technical issues today. <laughs> I lost my room. <laughs> Somebody call me. Um, but thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm just being introduced to pretty much everybody on here. You guys all sound great. Um, I think this is an amazing platform for indie artists. Um, I agree with you with the whole, you know, being able to tell a story behind this song, especially Hello, My Nana. Um, you know, oh, and God. here I go again. And so, so anyway, <laughs> it is, it, it's just, it's a pleasure being around other indie artists, people doing what they love. They're doing it because they love it, not for the money, just doing it and having a supportive community. Um, it's, it's just fabulous. I love it. Thank you so much again. Oh, the pleasure's ours, darling. Honestly, thank you so much. Mr. Russ Stalins, then Thor. Uh, Wolf, if he's there, I think Wolf's away. But, but Russ Stalins, what was your thoughts? Russ, then Thor. Yeah, I, I just uh, I just appreciate how, you know, music, uh, and even if it's not the same genre, because every practically every genre was represented, or a lot of genres were represented today. Music brings people together, you know. And uh, there's so much in our world right now that divides people, you know. And we need stuff that brings people together, you know, and, and makes makes us see each other as just human beings, you know. And and so I just appreciate everything that uh, that the show represents, this diversity in the show. And you know how uh, how it focuses on you know bringing people together and how music uh, not only brings people together but heals people. And uh, anyway, I just had a good time. Appreciated listening to everybody's stuff and meeting new people. Well, thank you, Ross. My legend, legend. So the, the the last comment of the evening because Kenzo's got a bad uh, background. We'll go Thor uh, in Germany. What was your thoughts on on tonight? And then this has been a wonderful show, Thor. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for giving us a second chance. <laughs> and uh, everything was well said. And uh, thank you for giving giving musicians a platform to 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 send the music to the people. And uh, we have to thank you very much. Uh, but I want to wish the mu musicians of uh, uh, tonight's show uh, the very very best. Thank you very much. Well, well, well said, great man. That was... and, and was a great pleasure and great honor for me, for us. Thank you. And, until the next time, Thor, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. This has been a wonderful, wonderful show. I'm going to stop the Facebook Live now, so we'll just say goodbye, Facebook. But I like, to stop, I like to stop my, my Bye. main recording. Until next time. <laughs> I, like stop, I like to stop my, my main word. recording. With the peace sign, because we all want world peace in this world. So throw your Vs in the air and we might might end up with World Peace one day. I've got thousands of people doing this, over a thousand, so one to three.